Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Fans Toys Recorder. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing we're going to do is bring the arm up. We're going to open up this panel, flip the hand out so we can fold this panel all the way in, then flip the hand in, bring the arm back down, compress it, and there's a little tab slot connection right there with the waist. Just push that in, and we got that side done. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Open up the forearm, bring the fist back so you can flip this all the way in, flip that in, bring it down, close it up, and tab the arms together like that. And next we're going to take his waist and just shift it over to the side. Once that is done, we can start working on his head. So you want to take his head, you want to pop this whole assembly up, you want to turn his head sideways, and you want to make sure this panel stays behind. There we go. You want this panel staying behind, you're just bringing up this armature with the head. And what you're going to do here is you're going to just split his head, bring that down, and there's a little panel right here you want to fold up, and just bring that down over the shoulder, and his head will sit right there. Really awkward, I know, but it's what you're supposed to do. Then you take this panel here, and you pop this up, rotate it 180, and then close it back up like that. And now we're gonna start working on the legs. We have these panels right behind his hips here. You just want to fold down. Once that is done, you wanna take the legs and just bring them out to the side like that. Once that is done, you have these panels here. You wanna flip out, flip them all the way out and take the section bring it down, you want to pull it out. That will allow you to take it and swing it to the other side. Once you've done that, slide it back up, and then you can bring all this up right there. And now we're gonna start transforming the legs and he's gonna watch us do it. But you're gonna take this gray section here, just fold it up and fold it up like that. Then you want to open up this entire leg assembly, just pull all this out and bring all of this up like that. We have this section here. We're going to flip down. We have this panel that will open up right there. You want to then take the foot and bring it out and swing this section down. And that will allow you to just kind of get behind here and just unclip this entire thing and bring it out like that. So what we're doing here is we're going to bring the section back and this little panel here you want to flip in so you just want to bring the toes all the way up so you can swing this in like that and then this little gray panel here will just flip in like so this little panel is very tight there we go just snap in place like that rotate this 180 and this little panel here you want to flip that also flip that back in and snap that into place. Next, we're gonna take this panel right here. We're going to flip this up. This section here, we're going to rotate in. And once you've done that, we can take all this and just close it up. And it'll sit right there like that. Then we're gonna work on all this up here. So you can bring this little panel down and then bring this little panel out Flatten that out, then you can bring this section up, unfold this panel, and then unfold this little panel. Come on, there we go. Unfold all that, flatten all that out, like so. Then you just want to rotate all this 180. You have this little bit right here, you want to push that in. And what you're going to do now is just collapse all of this down onto itself. So it is sitting like that. And we can close up this little section here. This will hook in right in there to lock this into place. So it sits flush like that. You want to come in here. There's a little panel that you want to flip out. And once that is done, we can now just take all this and collapse it up. You want to leave this kind of out, and also leave this kind of out, just so you can get it into place. And 
You also want to make sure that this panel here kind of stays in place because it needs to tab underneath all this. So once you kind of get things in place, you kind of locate those tabs. It takes a bit of doing, but it is doable. There we go. Pop that in. Now we get this popped in. go. Then I push this up as well just to seal all that. And you can bring that down. And that should just drop itself into place. And you also have a little tab slot connection right up here with this panel as well. Just kind of get everything lined up and that will pop in. And there we pretty much have that side done. So now to work on the other side, just open this up again, just collapse all that up into its three sections. Pop this open, get up under here, and just pop it all up. Get this all up and out of the way. Bring that section down, flip this little panel out. So it sits right there, then just take the foot, and bring it up, rotate this down, get this out of the way, flip this panel. Now you want to do this part first, actually. You want to get this out of the way. Then you can flip this out like so. Take this little section here, this little locking section here, flip that out, and then bring all of this in. Fold this little dark gray tab in. Again, this is very tight. Put that in. Rotate it 180. Lock all that back into place. And we got that section done. And then take this little panel here. You can push it out from the back. So opening for it. You can open that up. Take this section. Flip that in. And then you can close all this up. Make sure it's all sitting nice and flush like that and then we can work on all of this so open this up flip this out flip it out flip it out bring it down and then rotate this whole section 180 again you have this little panel right here you just want to fold that in and then collapse this down onto itself Get this little panel here close that up Everything sits in place like so. And again, just bring this up and lock all this into place. So again, just try to get everything lined up as best you can. Just so everything kind of drops in. And you can just adjust things as you go. But everything will just kind of pop in. It's a little bit of doing. But again, it's doable. Just work with the hinges there. it in like that and back here you have this panel you just want to fold that down to clean up the back and the last thing to do is to unfold these sections here of the handle and this section will slide all the way out unfold all this and then take this slide this all the way out you have this extra locking point right here you're going to flip out and the two halves will just plug together like so and there you go there you have recorder in his alt mode and to transform his buddy fast forward here you're going to take these panels and just fold them all the way in that will allow you to bring the legs down and rotate them now take these little sections here, close those up, take out the feet, bring them down far enough so you can rotate them 180 and then bring them up, bring the foot down, rotate it up, and then rotate it back. Once that is done, we can take the arms, just shift them downward on this double hinge. The elbows themselves are on a double hinge, so just extend them out, and then you can flip out these little hands. 
again, just extend that elbow and flip out his tiny little hands. You then want to extend his body like so. Then you just come over here, flip out his head, rotate it, and there you have fast forward in his robots mode. And now to get him back into tape mode, just rotate his head around, flip it in, take the body, compress it back up, flip up his hands, and then just collapse that elbow joint in like that, flip in the hand, and again, just collapse that elbow joint in, bring the arms up and over, like so. Come back here, take the foot, and bring it all the way up so you have the clearance to rotate it 180 and then fold it up into the leg. Same thing here, just bring that foot all the way up so you can rotate it and then collapse it up. You have these little panels here behind his thighs. Then you're going to flip up like so. Then you're going to rotate the legs in, bring the legs up, and this section will just sit in this little opening for it. So bring that up, close it up, and then the chest panels will come by, come back, and you have a tab slot connection right there. It's more like a nub, but it does hold it in place. Close that up, and there is fast forward back in tape mode. And now to get him back into robot mode, we're just going to split these two sections here, just wiggle them apart. Take this and slide it all the way back, then just collapse that, collapse that, collapse all of it up. Just bring that out to the side. You're going to take this little connector piece here, make sure you fold that under, like so, and then collapse all this back up. If this gets stuck, it helps if you just kind of bend this hinge in. You can use it as leverage to help you pop that and get it moving again. So slide that all the way back and... Just fold that in, fold that in, fold it all in, and bring all that out to the side. And we're going to start on this side here, so just kind of give everything a little wiggle, and undo it all, and bring it out to the side, and we can get this leg all transformed up now. So now what we're going to do is you can undo this little side panel here, but just kind of giving this a little wiggle wiggle. That'll undo it. You can bring that out and just extend all of this up on these hinges here and then rotate it 180 and then you're going to flip this little panel in flip this little panel in bring this up and over this will collapse down we can just leave that out of our way we can then open all of this up take this little gray section here flip this out and while we're here we can push this little tab back up push that up and collapse this down, like so. And just leave that there for now, and we can work on the foot here. So just flip that out, undo all of this, flip up this little gray panel here, this little section here. Just want to flip that over to the other side. So we can bring that up. And you want to rotate that entire section around, bring the foot down, this little panel here will flip in. This entire section will then fold up. You can bring the foot down. And then we're going to take this little panel right here. Fold that up. Fold that in. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to bring this up and over and just square everything off. And then all of this will just... Make sure you clear the toes. Make sure all that drops into place. And... Get all that locked in right there, like that. Once that is done, get this gray section and just unfold it. Tab it in right there, and there we have that leg all done. And again, we're just going to undo all of this. Just kind of pull this up a little bit so we can free up this panel back here. We have some extra panels to work with on this side. So again, just kind of give everything a wiggle, and everything should just free itself up. Like so, bring that out, and we can get started working on this leg. So now you can take this panel, just fold that in, get that out of the way, and again, to undo this little locking point here, you can just kind of get this little wiggle wiggle, 
and that'll undo it for you. Get this up and straighten out. Rotate this whole thing 180. Done. We can open up this section here. Just pop this up. Get this out of the way. Fold this little gray section up. And again, while this is open, you can flip this little panel out. Then we can bring out the foot. Flip all of this out. Like that. Flip out this tiny little gray section at the end. Again, this panel is very, very tight. Yeah, there we go. Flip that out. Take this little section here. Bring that around. Bring this up. And bring that back. Rotate this entire foot assembly around. Fold this little panel all the way in. Fold all of this up into the leg. And then we can close this up. And we got that done. Take this little panel. Flip that up flip all this in and what's going to happen here with all of this is you're going to bring this up fold this little panel in and then fold this up like that this little section here does extend so extend it out so you can fold this up and then that will fold in that will fold in and that will just collapse down like that and now you're just going to bring this all up and over and that will all just drop in right in there like that and you just straighten out this great panel here get all that lined up and there you have that leg all done now we're going to take this back panel here fold that up and that will allow us to do this next step here which is to take this panel bring it down you want to pull it out so you can rotate it around to the back side and then you can slide this back up Bring this up against his butt, flip these little panels back in like so, and now we can take the legs and bring them down. Take these little panels behind the legs and just flip those up into place, and now we can take this whole waist assembly and just slide it over so everything is centered. So now to get the head situated, we're going to pop this panel up. There we go. Pop that up. Rotate it 180. Bring it back down, snap it into place. Bring this assembly with his head up. Flip this little panel out. Then you can drop this down. I'll just clip in right there. And you can take his head and just put it back together. Rotate it around. And you got that. And lastly is a transformed arm. So just untap them from the sides of the body. Just extend them out. Bring the fist all the way out. So you can flip this panel out. Flip this in, and then this will just tab in right there. Bring it back down. Same thing here. Extend. Flip that fist all the way out so we can bring this panel out. Bring that in. And tab it all together to close it up. And there you go. There you have Recorder back in robot mode.